Hello, welcome to another episode of Rainy Bee Plays The Sims 4. This is my last building Newcrest build, and I chose to do a retail store. It looks pretty generic, but I went back in and tweaked some stuff. You'll see it in the after tour. I just didn't want a rectangular building. But I made it big because I wanted to put a lot of items in the store. And then I also put a little place to live in the back. I know you can't live on a retail lot. But I put items to use as if you were living there. A bed, a kitchen, a computer desk, a small bathroom. One of the things that I really enjoyed, I know a lot of people don't, I didn't quite understand it. Maybe it was the difficulty aspect, but I thought this was fun to do. The, I think the idea of it is fun, having a retail store. But I think the most joy I get out of it is the painting. Is it just painting though? Being able to sell your paintings? Because I remember doing it once, I believe with a writer, well, she wrote and painted. And I kept copies of her books in my inventory and then put them on sale in a retail store. I thought that was fun, but I haven't done it in so long. So these are just a couple of the things that I'd like to get back into because I want to start playing. The Sims 4. I will continue to build because I enjoy that and I'll obviously have to build for the Sims that I create to play with, but I want to start doing some Let's Plays just to see how I do. I just, I still can't figure out the recording of it because it looks like people are doing it live and they are editing out segments. And that's what throws me. It's like, how am I going to know what to edit out? But I think I'll figure it out. I'm not going to worry too much about it until I get my second monitor and I can start streaming and then I won't have to worry about it at all. But uh, the issues inside here that I had to fix on the window side of the store, I wanted displays while well, I'm actually working on it right now here. So I put the half wall up but then I thought, well, they're going to want to buy these things. And it never occurred to me until it was too late. I did a little playthrough for a day and a half with one of my characters. And she couldn't get in there to even add to, you know, I want to sell this or dress the mannequins. So I had to get rid of one wall on either side so that customers could access and she could get to the items. So I did that on both sides. I just don't think you'll see it in the walkthrough, but I did do that. I haven't put it up on the gallery yet, but I will when I'm finished with this. But it was fun. It was a fun build. It took me a whole day to do this because I kept going back and forth trying to figure out should I do this? Should I do that? Should I get rid of this? Is this too much? Is this overkill? Is it not enough? Things like that. Do I need that many bathroom stalls? Is, it is too big, isn't it? It's way too big. Should I raise it up and give them stairs? Ugh, lots of decisions to be made. I'm not entirely happy with the outcome. I think I could make it a smaller store. I just didn't want to go two stories. That's what I was originally planning was to have it be two stories high and make the stairs seem like an escalator. <laughs> Old department store feel. So I think I can still do that. I had most fun with the yard. That also took the longest because I had to go through debug 
I'm like, I know they have boxes and crates. I know they do. And then it was a while before I went, oh, wait a minute, isn't that from the cats and dogs? But every time I go into D-Book, <laughs> it never fails. It's kind of like when you go shopping at CVS. You go in there for one item, right? And you come out $120 later with the one item and eight other things you really didn't think you needed until you saw it. Well, that's how debug is for me. I went in there specifically looking for crates and boxes to put in the yard to make it have a department store feel. I found a van and a ton of landscaping items. And I just kept plunking them down, going stop. And then I find something else like, ooh. And I'd put it down and then it's like, stop, please look for the crates. It was a long time before I found those crates. But I like the little storage area that I built in the back. And I gave some pipes to the bathroom area. And I think I, it, the landscaping may be considered overkill for a department store. But I did give a living area to this place in the back. The sim that I used lives on the very first lot, Cubby, Comfy Cubby, the house that I lost. And I realized that way too late too. It, it isn't that EA messed up, it's that I messed up as usual. I never saved it to the gallery. So I have to go back in and build her another house. I just put down a generic house for her to stay in. Because every time I picked her to, to do something or try something, she always had that board, gray board, or she was fine. And I kept looking at her skills and her aspirations. And I'm like, everywhere I'm sending you, you want to do this stuff. Why are you always bored? And it's probably the generic house I put her in. There's nothing. It's a nondescript house with a couple windows, a toilet, a bed, and a computer with a kitchen. But it's not, you know, built up or anything, and that might be the reason why she's so bored. But I have her in here now, and she doesn't have to leave. You just close the store, and she's in the back. She ate there, she slept there, she peed there. I just put on that back door there between the refrigerators and the sofas that she's the only one that can use that door. And then I did the same thing on the gate in the yard. So it's working out, but she just, you can't get rid of the original lot she lived on because they share the income like you put your home income into the store or you take the store's income and put it into the house. And the bills go to the cubby, comfy, cubby. Why am I saying that backward? Cubby, comfy. The bills have to be paid there, all that other stuff. So you can't technically live on this lot, but she does. So if you were to use this, you would have to create a separate living quarters for your character and then go back every once in a while to pay the bills and check on things. So, but again, I really like the aspect of retail. I think it's cool. I think it could be fun. And yes, it's tough. It's tough to make the sale. Now, when I open this just to see how it would run, there were approximately eight or nine sims just meandering around the place. And that's way too many for one sim to handle. You can hire one person, but only one person, and you can only assign them one task. They're either gonna answer questions or they're gonna ring up sales. So your sim has to be doing work as well. You can cheat and add perk points to gain more employees and stuff like that. And then the more perk points you have, the easier it will become to own a retail store. 
you can cheat that if you wanted to. So this little thing here, that took me the longest time to build, but I like what I did. I eventually finished it. So. It's not a bad looking place. The, and the signage too. I like the little dine out sign on the grass, but the one over the door looks a little too ritzy. But I'm so tired of seeing that Amy sign everywhere. Yeah, see, this acts like it's two separate rooms. So I fixed that. I just took the corner wall off here. And that fixed it. So now your customers can get in there. Because Vivian Lewis went into the clothing side and tried something on. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know they could do that. A lot of the decorations are nondescript. I didn't want to go too crazy. But I will tell you that this reminds me a lot of a... Like a secondhand store. <laughs> Lots of our secondhand stores look like this. Paneled walls. Cement floor. So this is the back, what I was trying to explain, and I probably didn't do a good job, but again, your sim technically cannot live here. There is no mail, so she has to be living on another lot in order for you to buy a retail store. But she, if you want to speed things up a bit you're going to want to keep her here so that she can get her needs built up open the store early make as many sales as possible and then you know she can go home if she wants to for a little bit but they can technically they cannot stay here forever so yeah that was a lot of debug items in the landscaping department excuse my voice again i'm Going through the sinus thing once again. I'm just always going to sound bad. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm also trying some new audio things that I learned online. But thank you so much for watching this. I do hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate your support. also hope you have an absolutely fabulous day. Bye-bye.